Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. I wanted to start a new one because like the other vlog was kind of just chitter chattery even though all my vlogs are, but it was more just like me in the car and stuff and those were like kind of filmed over two days and then I kind of want to just film these two days. So it's like Sunday and Monday for my four day weekend. Sometimes I make notes to myself in these videos and I just kind of include them because why not? I have a Fabletics package that I'm gonna open. I keep forgetting I have this. So I'm gonna open it and hopefully I can take some content or like make some content for this um, before I get changed. I was like, you know what? I have this outfit that I need to like open up and I've been waiting to open this. So let's see. Oh, it's the dress. Oh, this is cute. Oh, it's the jumpsuit. Oh my gosh. I hope like it's not too long for me. I'm gonna try it on and let's see if it's like way too big, but it's so comfortable. And I've been wanting a jumpsuit like this. Okay, so this is what the outfit looks like. And I think it's really cute. Uh, the only problem is I'm just so short. So we're working with this. I mean, I could always just cut it. I mean, I'm not gonna cut it before I take the picture or whatever. I might film like a TikTok. I'm debating because there's just like so many fun dances. So I might do like that line dance one because I think that one's really fun. I've also been wanting to do those dances in scrubs. So I might do that. But I think for this, like I might do the country line dance. I'm just going to put on my tennis shoes because I was going to like try to like put on these heels just to like give it some more like length. I don't know, maybe, but like, I don't like trip and fall. I mean, I guess I could because it's like higher, but I'm gonna step on them anyways regardless. So like, I might as well just be comfortable. Now I'm just taking the dog out. Come on. Good girl. We're having trouble with her eating, but so far she's doing okay. But like, she's just been like particularly picky. So I don't know what's going on. So I just curled my hair. I just wanted some wave in it just because it's been a hot minute since I've curled it. So I did the clamp technique. Piper wants in. She lets me know when she wants things. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go take some pictures and make that TikTok because I just, I really wanna do a dancey TikTok. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I get some good stuff. I think I'm just gonna go around in my neighborhood because I don't feel like driving anywhere. I am gonna get Starbucks today though. I'm gonna go after lunch. It's like 12, 20, so hopefully I can get this in like half an hour and then have lunch around one. That would be like the most ideal time. And then I can go to Starbucks and I might take Piper with me. So this is the vibe I'm going for. I'm gonna just wear like my sunglasses cause it's bright outside. It's gonna be a outside photo. And then I have my little um, magnetic OctoBuddy thing. I really want to find one that's more aesthetic without this like white thing. I don't know, it's just not, it doesn't hit for me. And then I have my trusty tripod because I don't have anyone to take my photos. So I just use this and I have this. And then um, I just do the self timer app that is literally like, it's a lifesaver because you can just like pose different ways and then it just like snaps every second. It's called Lens Buddy. If you haven't heard of it, you need it if you ever like take photos and you have no one to take the photo for you. Um, this is also good even if you do have someone and they're just not getting like the framing you want, just put it on a tripod and then use the app and it'll do it for you. Okay, so I'm outside. I'm gonna be editing a video and it's gonna be like the dry with me chat, catch up type of video. And yeah, I'm so tired. I don't know what it is, but I woke up so late. I think I already said this. And like, I don't know, I'm just always so thrown off. I wish our time like just stayed the same all the time. Like I hate the time change. So it's about three, my parents are working out how to stream the Oscars tonight. And I'm so excited. I actually get to watch the award show and not like go to sleep after just like an hour of watching it because Ooh, there's pollen everywhere on this because I have to go to bed just have to wake up so early So I'm happy I get to actually like sit and watch the award show That is if they figure out how to like get it on the streaming site Piper and I did not go to Starbucks um, We didn't go to Starbucks because it was already so late when I ate so My parents were already home and then like I don't know It just didn't work out and we're gonna have an early dinner. I think so. Yeah, it just all around did not work out But it's fine how excited are you, Piper? 
Show me. Show me. She's running. She's so excited. She's out of breath. I'm so excited. Yeah, anyway, Valerie, Sherry, tell us what we're doing. We're going to do a family dinner night. Yeah. And we'll take it as so they changed the menu and they don't have like the shrimp skewers so I think I'm gonna do three like sides because that's kind of what it was anyway it was just kind of like a meal Valerie I'm gonna do mac and cheese asparagus and fries because I haven't even tried the mac and cheese so I do want to try the mac and cheese Piper is down there She's trying to look at everything. But I got asparagus. I got the three sides, like I said. I'm gonna try everything. Sherry got her usual. They didn't take her meal off the menu. And Valerie over there got soup and salad. Caesar with the lobster bisque. So because of the time change, I slept in really late yesterday and I didn't end up getting coffee. So that's why today I wanted to make a point to go get my Starbucks because I've said this in past videos, but I don't drink coffee like when I have to go to work and stuff because just like a number of things, like I don't want to have to like chug my coffee and stuff. Oh my gosh, my hair is looking crazy. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I like to just sip and like have a leisurely time with coffee, not like chug it and then like get to work. I think it elevates my blood pressure or something because my, my head starts hurting, so. Yeah, just not good all around. It's weird being off on a Monday, but it's just like the whole vibe. Like when it's Monday, I feel like work, you know? Surprisingly, it's not too bad, but still, I think if I could choose, like I would want to have Fridays off. I don't get to choose that either. So <laughs> we're just living life. Also too, I like to get gas before, no matter like where my gas thing is just so it's like all set for the week and I don't have to worry about it or like running low or anything. So I've used like a quarter of a tank already because like when I went to go to Kayla's, it took an hour to get there and an hour to get back. And it's not because of distance, like distance, it only takes like 28 minutes, but it's because of the traffic, like major traffic, just stop and go for a good solid 30 minutes. Like even when I put on my GPS, it says 30 minutes slow down. I'm like, oh my gosh, like there's no way I could like live out there and then work in the city. I don't know. Those people have to probably like get to work at 2 a.m. or something just to avoid the massive traffic. So yeah, I don't know, but enough rambles. I'm glad I got my coffee. I've started laundry. I was gonna do laundry the other day, but I didn't end up doing it. And then I have to like reset for the week. So like pre-pack like all my lunch food and stuff because I just want that ready to go. And yeah, so it's gonna be a very like chill, but also like reset type of day, which I like and don't like because then it just reminds me, oh my gosh, I have to get up so early tomorrow morning. <laughs> but It'll be fine. We're all gonna live. Completely forgot to vlog, but I ended up going to Starbucks, as you saw in the previous clip, to pick up the coffee since I didn't get coffee yesterday. It doesn't look like I'm getting gas because on all of the pump stations, there are these yellow bags, so. That's not happening today, but it's fine. This is super random, but I'm cleaning out my car because I was just noticing like I had a pop can in here and I was like, you know what? I need to go through this. So I'm just cleaning it out. I don't know how much you can see cause like I took in my camera, but I have a bunch of these like blue towels cause sometimes we don't like use a lot. And so I kept some, there's so much dust, so bad. But yeah, we have like a lot of these. So I might like, put a couple on the driver's side and then put a couple here. I killed a bug with one of these, which is like kind of funny, but I don't know which one I used. So looks like we're just gonna put back the ones that are definitely like not used. And then I have this extra trash bag. I do like to keep an extra one of these because you never know. So I'll just like wad it up and put it in the corner here. There's an extra pad always cause you never know. Oh, that's where my hair clip went. Oh, I dropped this not too long ago and I was like, I couldn't find it. So 
I was just like, whatever. This is in case, like, my car were going to go into a lake and I need to get out. So, I always, like, I just kept this in here ever since, ever since, ever? I don't, probably ever since I had this car. And then I have my car charger. I always have a brush because back in the day, I would always, like, go to workout class and then change and stuff, get ready for work. When I worked a normal office job, I would do the workout class, change or whatever, come to my car, brush out my hair and then like put the dry shampoo and everything. I got this like cute little button from Kelly's Ice Cream from work because apparently she worked at where I work. And then I have this car charger, a USB, but I'll probably just put this in the glove compartment. I swear this thing is like packed man i'm keeping these these are my parking passes from school <laughs> i'm keeping them for a souvenir because like i don't know and then we're i think we were supposed to return this but i didn't so that's the front seat i have to put these on the driver's side okay so here's my back seat it's not as bad as i thought it was gonna be i have a lot of well I used to have a lot of umbrellas. I used to have this really big umbrella back here, but I just had this one. But you never know when it's just like gonna start raining. I have more blue towels. And my allergies, I swear, they're horrible. More like phone chargers, I guess. I had no idea that was in there. And then my car came with this carpet thing. So that's kind of funny. I have this bottle of water because you never know. I don't know. It's probably bad by now. So I think I'm gonna throw this away. I'm gonna put that in the trash pile. I got an Epcot food and wine thing. That's garbage. This, oh my gosh, I've had, well, this is definitely garbage, but I've had this ever since college, like 2014, 2015, because I would use this in the dorm and stuff because I didn't want to like put my soap on the dirty surfaces. So I had this and yeah, this thing's been around forever, but it's definitely garbage now. I have some masks. This is from COVID times. I'm just gonna toss those so i think i'm just gonna put my carpet back in there and then these blue towels because why not and then this phone charger thing and then my aunt actually got me this so i think i might take this inside because i don't need it in my car and then i have some lysol wipes don't really know why i have these in here but i do kleenex because allergies and stuff so i will keep this in here because yeah Another mask. I did wear this for like this mask fit test during um, surge tech school. So it's garbage. Garbage. This is, okay, this hat has been through, this hat's been through it, but this is the company I used to work for um, when I worked at the TV station. And then they gave away all this like merch and stuff. This is like my emergency hat when um, I would go to the beach and I forgot a hat. So... I think it's seen better days and I already have a new hat. Like I have an aloe hat. So I might, I don't know. I might get rid of it. Might not. Don't work there anymore. So, and then I have to take this inside. So this is kind of like the take inside pile. This is like a flyer for like skincare or Botox, which I don't get. This is garbage. This is my um, car mount, which I still have part of it up there. I'll probably try to ply that off, but I have this car tripod and it was for like the drive with me's when that was popular i made a lot of those when i was working at universal because like i always had a long drive but i'm not gonna do that they're not really like that popular anymore and that was like kind of in my way all the time so that's definitely not it and then i have more stuff on that side which i'll go grab there's nothing back here guys i've had these for years <laughs> there was an emergency oh another another pass that's funny i had these because I accidentally started my period at work when I worked at Universal and I didn't have anything. So I got these and I've had them ever since. So I don't know, I might as well keep them. But as you can see, like I'm kind of paranoid because of that time. I guess I'll just put that in the side there. I have to get out of this side because like cars drive by and stuff. So I'm just gonna like quickly hurry. And then in the driver's side, I have more blue towels as you can see. Can't believe how much actual trash I had. I always try to like clean out my car. <laughs> more but i guess i've been slacking i just have like napkins some straws oh i have change i didn't even know that was there cool oh my gosh so this is really funny my friend tyra had like gloves this, these are from school oh and they like they expire in a few months that's kind of funny tyra had gloves in her car and i'm like why do you have those and she's like, well, you never know if there's an emergency and like you have to pull over and help somebody and you don't want to touch them and I was like, true. So she kind of inspired me to have some gloves in my car. So here's some gloves. 
and I just keep those there. I always think of that story. I always think of that story when I see those gloves, so I just kind of keep them. These like just went with my car. I don't really know exactly where they go, but I have some stickers, a McCoy pin. Oh my gosh, so this is like, they were a sponsor of our like TV stations community thing. So I had like, I swear, like 500 of these pens cause I had to pick them up. So like they're everywhere. And then just more straws and stuff, a clip. I mean, I might as well keep the clip. It's not broken. This, I have no idea. This was like kind of a while ago. Okay, update on this thing. That was for the camera tripod. It is stuck there for life. So yeah, there's no way I can get that off. I tried and it's not budging. So this is super random, but I was cleaning out my car and then like, I mean, I know that it was the time was coming up to get my oil change, but I'm like, you know what? Since today I'm not doing anything and my car is like coming up on that. I might as well just go and get my oil changed. And then Valerie was like, oh, I have a coupon. So I'm going to Valvoline because as you know, if you have been following my channel for a bit, the last time I got my oil change at Pet Boys, it took like seven hours. That's a little bit of an exaggeration, but it literally took four hours because they like didn't prioritize my car even though I had an appointment. So I was there for like, forever and it was like really annoying and but I did get the oil change for free so that's fine because I just had to pay with my time but that's okay uh but I don't want to do that again so we're going to Valvoline I normally go to Valvoline anyway I only went to Pet Boys because I thought it would be more convenient it was more close but little did I know like it was gonna take even longer so might as well just pay some tolls and Go to Valvoline where they go like super fast. I can get gas while I'm there because there's like a gas station near there. So everything works out. My car is almost at 99,000, which is crazy. Okay, so got my oil changed and I got a new like filter thing. And then I also got, I don't know, something to clean like where the gas goes or I don't know, something that they were trying to upsell. And then I actually was like, okay, sure. Cause I had this $20 off coupon. So I was like, sure, whatever. I always like to keep my car like up to date on all those things just because it's more expensive if you don't. But because I was out and I was near Chick-fil-A, I got Chick-fil-A and I'm so happy about it. So I got the fries and then I just got the 12 pound nugget meal. So I'm gonna have lunch in my car now. And yeah. And now I'm on my way home. I'm gonna stop at the other gas station in town to get gas because like I said earlier, I'm like, I like my tank to be 100% full before work, a work week or whatever. Um, it was funny. I just remembered too that like, I, w I told my mom like, oh, I'm just going to go get my oil changed and stuff. And I always say like, I'm going to have a lazy day. And so she goes, is getting your oil changed part of your lazy day routine? I'm like, no, but it's Monday and I definitely know that I need to get it updated because it's been a hot minute and she was like oh okay but no in the grand scheme of things I would not definitely not get my oil changed on a lazy day but I, given that it's Monday like I was saying the Monday vibes I just feel like I need to be like productive and you know get shit done so that's what we're doing and I feel like my car is in good health because of that other thing. I totally forgot the name of it. It's on the receipt here. Okay, so vlog worthy moment. I cooked this mac and cheese and I'm always used to the ones that are like easy mac where you just like put water and then the mac and cheese and then put the powder. Not actually like had to put butter or anything. So I totally messed up the first one because I think I, I put way too much like milk. So it was like all runny. I'm like, what the heck is wrong with this? It's like horrible. It tasted disgusting. And yeah, so I redeemed myself and honestly, I did a pretty good job. Like this is some good mac and cheese now. So I guess it just takes, you know, trial and error and messing up to get the right mac and cheese. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.